Adventure Painter, take two. Right, um, today's video. It's the Epic Waterloo French Heavy Cavalry. And I've been painting the Dragoons from the free sprue you got with War Games Illustrated. And that's what I've got left. So I've got, I've got some down there, just down there somewhere. That's the free sprue I've got. Also picked up um, a second copy, so that's the second slot of heavy cavalry. Also picked up this month's War Games Illustrated, and you either get some British infantry or French infantry. I luckily got the French infantry, and this is the sprue you get. You get all that lot. Um, some skir um, French voltage skirmishers just there as well and cannon and mounted officer so excuse me I'll be painting these as well also got a bit of a naughty boy this set which is the British infantry brigade in that you get Three epic battle Napoleonic British plastic sprues, and you get three. Of, obviously, you get the bases as well, and, and a British and Allied flags as well. You also get some cannons, and that's what you get on the back. That's what you get in the box. You see, yeah, that's what you get in the box. Bought this, finally arrived, and I'm like a child in a sweet shop with loads and loads of pocket money. Cannot wait to start painting these. I painted the French Dragoons, finished them, and you get two officers as well. Based the second lot of five this afternoon, and I've been painting the majority of the day. I'll turn the camera around and show you. I've been waffling there for two and a half minutes. So that is what you've got coming soon as well. What I have got coming soon as well is the Victrix Bavarian Infantry. I sat there, I was humming and harring about buying it. Um, I kept looking at it, put it in the car, taking it in the car, put it in the car, taking it in the car. And eventually I thought, you know what, bugger, I went on the Victrix website and ordered it. So I've got the Bavarian Infantry set coming hopefully tomorrow it says 48 hour delivery but maybe saturday or next week i'm in a hurry for i've got plenty to paint i've waffled them for three minutes um yeah turn the camera around and i'll show you my french dragoons also after i'll show you the french dragoons i'll show you my swiss i've painted one guy i'm doing the, the grenadiers first so after this video my next video will be my Swiss Grenadiers, and then it'll be the Voltage Years, then the Infantry, then the whole that will be shown together. I'm waffling too much. Maybe it's a video where you can sit and paint and um, listen to me waffle along. Right, I'll waffle too much. See you in a little while. Hello, folks. Right, Minish Painter again. Um, I've just dropped a load of stuff. Do excuse me one second. I've just dropped all my backpacks. Right, um... These are my French heavy dragoons. I will pick some up. This is the one. This is one of the officers. I am very, very happy with the way these come out. Considering this is the first one I painted on the main officers. Really, really chuffed with the way these have come out. This one I painted this afternoon. Again, happy, happy, joy, joy. As Ren and Stimpy would say, really, really chuffed with the way these have come out. So, so happy. And to be honest, if you've got, say, two or three hours to spare, these are going to take a couple of hours. These were mainly painted with contrast paints. And that was it. That's them is so so nice to paint uh what have i what else have i been working on well i shall um turn the camera around and um 
Actually, no, I'll show you now. Right. I made a start on my Swiss 1st Battalion, 4th Regiment. So you're talking light or sky blue collar and cuffs. You can't see the obviously. Epaulets, because the grenadiers are white. Although some, I was talking to Tim Neat this afternoon, one of the um, experts on the face on the one of the Facebook groups I mainly go on, and he said some grenadiers will had red epaulets, but this is one of the grenadiers of nearly finished. I've just got to do the buttons. Obviously. Not on yet because I'll be doing that in a minute. Really, really chuffed with the weight. Even got the cross on the top of the bear skin. It's got to do the just above there. It's got to be black. He did mention I sent him a few pictures and he said the knee just above the boot there. It's got to be black, so that'll be done black. Got to have a little emblem on the tails just there. But the backpack will be finished, so that'll be. This is mainly the, the first guy done. Managed even managed to do trim on the collar red. Some had white trim on the cuffs. Just got to do obviously the buttons and everything. But really, really pleased, especially the facial details on this guy. I'm so so happy with. Anyway, um, that's been my update. It's a bit of a long video, a bit of a long-winded video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, like I said, it's a bit of a bonus video today because I did one yesterday. Anyway, yes, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Miniature Painter, and as always, thank you so much for the comments you put on my last video, all the support you've been sending me. So, yes, um, thank you very much, and I shall see you soon. Bye.